Hey there, everybody. Joe here. Uh, today, I'm going to take the thing I created this Monday, uh, which was the uh, Keep Being Weird uh, Tentacles uh, sign thing, and I'm going to make it into, uh, like, for me, uh, what would be a finished art, uh, which I'm going to eventually uh, post to Threadless. Uh, today, I think we'll at least uh, do the pencils, and uh, tomorrow we might do the inking. But uh, we'll see. It depends on how long things take. So, <clears throat> all right, for me to start, um, because I'm using my computer screen, uh, I gotta take off my glasses. Because um, as you get older, as you get older, your eyesight tends to change. So, uh, my glasses, I need new ones. Um, it's not, it's too far away, it's too close. And rather than king my neck all screwed up, uh, I figured uh, it'd be good to just get started. Anyway, okay. So, uh, this is the sketch, as you can see on the screen, this is the sketch I, ha I did the other day. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do, I know I want this uh, top part here, um, but I like this phrase better. Um, embrace your weird is still not bad, but I think keep being weird, um, I don't know, feels more uh, visceral to me. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in Photoshop, there is a uh, perspective, let's see where it is here, perspective crop tool. And because I took this picture and it's not an angle, um, I'm going to basically just, you just click to the corners of where your sign is, or the picture is, I should say, and click there, and then I hit return, and look, it's perfect. It's a tiny itty bitty. Um, but uh, that way I can bring it into my next program, but well, not the next program, to this other file I've created over here. I, and I, well, uh, to do that, I just um, uh, click drag, and then uh, just, I just hold down shift for it to be centered. And, um, and then we'll just see if, I think it looks like I've got it a little bit wider than I was thinking. So I'm gonna uh, do control T, <laughs> sorry, control T for um, changing the uh, transforming. So if you go to image transform or edit transform, yeah, edit free transform. So control T, We'll bring that up, and then you get these these boxes. And if you hold down the Alt key, uh, you can shrink it according to the middle line. So I think I want it to be like this. That's kind of the ratio I had when I drew it. So I've set this file up as um, uh, 15 by 17. Right now the resolution is low. I've got it at 72 DPI. I'll change that once I uh, refine the sketch. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to do Control T again. So I want to fill out the space, right? All right? Let's zoom out a little bit. So I hit Z for zoom, and then Alt for uh, the zoom out. And it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna change this again. Oops, change it again a little bit. And I think I want I want the bottom I think to have a straight edge, and the top I think we're good with that. I'm kind of looking to see you know what my Kind of what my borders are. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So um, this was a, a earlier. Go that way. That was the earlier image. Uh, I'm going to do Control L. That will. Um, oops, I'm in the wrong. Wrong. In the wrong layer. Uh, Control L. So. Bring down that. So I want because I'm trying to make the the uh, the lightest areas wider. And you can see I lose some of the detail because this is this was sketched on a uh, you know basically like two inches, and it was a pretty big uh, uh, graphite. So look, perfect. Up, oh, done. <laughs> no. So uh, I'm gonna so these two layers here. I'm gonna group them together. Well, no, I'm actually gonna leave that one there. So I'm gonna make this a group. No, sorry. New layer, and I'm gonna call this sketch. Even though I misspelled it, let's double click that again. All right, sketch, this is the sketch layer. Uh, I hit B for my brush tool, but I'm gonna go over here, up to the left here, upper left, and uh, I'm gonna use one of my, like basically I called it my new sketch tool. Um, right now, the uh, it's set at uh, four pixels, but that's just because of what I had it set as. So I'm gonna pull it up till you, there's a circle that you can see. Um, Photoshop's nice because this circle kind of tells me the outer edge of where I'm going and the inner edge. So if I push real hard on my, oh, I use an Intuos tablet, sorry. 
Uh, if I push down hard, I get a thick line, and if I go less, I get a thin line. So, anyway, some of those are a little jiggity jaggedy. Uh, and then I think I'm trying to decide if I want this to be too, a real straight sign. Let me see if I can, what I'm going to do is grab a rectangle tool. And let's make it kind of about the, right now it's got a rounded edge because that's what I think I did last. But let's make it, um, let's take this to zero. That's the rounded edge. And that didn't work. So that must mean it's over here. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna take the fill, drop that out. Let's make the stroke, um, let's make it green. And then let's pop it up a couple, couple inches. Oop, that's too many, I forgot. This, this tool, most, a lot of the stuff in Photoshop will um, kind of real-time it for you. Um, but not this for some reason. But that's okay. So I'm going to take the, uh, let's see, I need to take, hit V for my move tool. Let's move it here. Back to the rectangle. Let's rotate it. I'm just kind of trying to get it so that it's pretty close to where I want it. Right, but uh, it's not necessarily going to be exactly what I do because I think I kind of want the angles to be a little bit off, but it'd be nice to be for it to be a little bit straighter. Let's drop this behind the drag, click and drag it behind the sketch layer, and we can just leave it there for now because it's that'll be more important when I ink. Okay, hit my B tool. And uh, let's go up and, oh, it's in sketch. So let's uh, hit X so that I can bring up the white. Or actually, let's just do this. Let's go back down to here. And let's just erase, hit the E tool, hit E for erase. And let's just erase some of these lines here. And I'm gonna put, use an actual font for that. Go back to B, sketch. I use these, uh, Upper, I'm trying to think they're the toggles. I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So if you have any questions about the shortcuts I use, please let me know. I, I apologize uh, for just kind of being all over the place with those. Um, it's something that as you get used to it, will really help your uh, workflow. Um, but they're trying to show people, uh, it can tend to, uh, you know, get a little bit, you can, can kind of forget like what you're doing a little bit, take, take things for granted. Let's go through here and just basically so that I don't screw it up too close. I'll you know, get pretty close here. So you can see a lot of these details are really like kind of faded back. Do I have an eyeball here? No, I think this is just texture. When I'm drawing tentacles, I, I try and think in terms of like where the slinky, like I'm thinking about slinkies a lot and kind of how they're, you know, what's the form, where's the, where do the wrinkles go? What direction do the wrinkles go? And I think I'm gonna hold down shift because I want a straight line over here. And let's have this come down and come through and then have this other guy over here. Now, once I do this, I'm going to test, kind of look into the, uh, I'm going to flip things around so I can see if my balance, how my balance is. And it's, a, it's a trick you can do with um, your own paints. I'm going to have to go through this, this whole thing here. Let's see. That's not good. Let's see. Yeah, let's do, let's do a, if I click, let's, let me turn off here. So I go to my brush tool, turn off the uh, shape dynamics and transfer. And what's gonna happen is, is it's at this point, now it'll just make dots for me, right? So I'm gonna shrink it, shrink it down. And let's start here. Well, actually let's go here through the middle and hold down shift and it'll make a, it'll make a line all the way through it. So actually, we should start here, hold down shift, 
There we go. Over here. Hold down shift. Okay. Now, if I want to change back, I just click my Shape Dynamics Transfer, and it will be drawing again for me. But I'm going to also um, hit X, or I could hit Eraser, actually. Let's just erase for these, for these lines. Get here, where, where, where it would be a tentacle, where it would be the... So it doesn't confuse us too much. Let's just draw this. Kind of a, oops, I forgot I made it white. All right. So let's come up here. Comes through. That there. This is another little eye. Let's pull this up a little bit to ten. I don't even know what these tog they're toggle keys are. I guess they're the brackets. That uses. That's what you can click to make your brush bigger and smaller. Let's put an eyeball here. I kind of want this back and forth a little bit. Here. Okay. Let's see what kind of teeth. Should we do like human -y teeth? Flats. Some sharp stuff. Make it smile a little bit. I don't think I want these to be eyeballs. I just kind of did that. Let's put, a, let's put some spikes in here. So yeah, I've been thinking about tentacles a lot lately, I guess since I made the tentacles and teeth coloring book. But the next coloring book I'm working on is going to be uh, space aliens, like kind of in the 1950s, the 1950s flare. A little cartoony. Make it makes things fun. Let's do it. I've switched to white, so I'm gonna make this. I just want to erase this a little bit here. Let's keep it big and then get, get some shading in here. And the shading is really just gonna be a, kind of where I'm gonna end up uh, Either putting in darker darks for, for what I'm inking, or it'll be for the color. It might like hints for my where I'm gonna want to color stuff. Put that there. We'll drop shadows. First, some of the detail. Okay. I think I'm definitely gonna have a shadow that comes across the sign. Will it be exact? Probably not. Play around with that later. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in, hit Z, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see my let's hit X and come through with some lighten up some of these shades. <laughs> some of the highlights I should say. Let's see there's a little bit of color coming through. Let's get some, let's shrink it down a little bit. Switch back to black. And some big gums. Let's get this tongue, tongue coming out here. So we come back. Fill in this super shadows. Now for this, I kind of picture this. I'm gonna. I, I, I really want to do this as a series of paintings, not this exact, um, these exact tentacles, but I think uh, I like these kind of as a character. Oh, uh, put down, push down your space bar, and you can get the hand tool to let you drag around. So, how about let's refine the sketch as much as possible. But one of the nice things about um, you do your own sketching, your own inking, is you don't have to quite be as exact as you think because you can correct things while you're inking. And it's probably a good bet, good bad habits to get into. Bad habit probably. Uh, 
because I think so because a lot of times I, I won't take it far enough and then I end up going Ugh, and then I have to go back and sketch so that I kind of know where I want my my uh, lines to go when I'm doing a commission but this is kind of fun here think about how the, the texture is gonna go give them some extra spikes put some spikes on this one this this one too Let's see, kind of going around. And I got this curve here, but I don't know if it is. Well, let's do this. Let's make it so that it comes up and around. So that it wrinkles. Right? Okay, it's hard for you to let's see. Let's erase some of this stuff so it makes more sense. What I'm talking about. I'm not really erasing, I'm actually using the white. I hit the X, I hit the X key. Work to come around on the white. So let's see here. Big, big curves. And we'll come all the way through. And eyeball. Let's hit X. Let's give it, whiten it out. Let's give it some give it an iris. And I think I like these. I've been making these kind of goat eye things lately. It's like not human. And give me some shading in here. Switch to, switch to X again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use X to go back and forth between the white. If you look in the lower left, I'm gonna point and it does nobody any good. So uh, if you look over here, this what'll happen is when I hit X, see how these flip? I'm gonna probably go back and forth a lot with those. So that'll kind of keep me going. I think I want all of the eyes to face forward. Uh, because like it's looking out everybody like it's talking it's talking to you it's talking to me keep it going keep being weird sometimes I'll do that I flip back and forth too much get distracted on the back things towards the back I want to I will be in shadow and dark as I color as I ink them I think I'm not sure how long this is taking but it's I'm guessing that uh, what I'm going to do is this will be today's will be just refining this refining the image and tomorrow uh, I'll have the inking, inking done or yeah and then if you're interested too uh, I'll show you how uh, uh, even if you're not interested <laughs> I'm going to show you how I uh, Oh, I put it on uh, up on Threadless. So, and, and I think I'm assuming that the same could be hold true for other platforms like Redbubble or um, Zazzle. But um, the thing I like about Threadless is they at least give me a, um, a sense of who bought my stuff. I was using one that was uh, one platform. I think it was Fine Art America. And the unfortunate thing about that was they didn't really tell me who my uh, patrons were, which I mean it'd be nice to sometimes you know send a thank you note, which I have to get in the habit of doing. I'm not in the habit of doing that with um, the digital stuff. So if you've bought something in the past, I apologize if I have not said thank you. But thank you, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, and every little bit helps. I, this is, you know, I'm trying to get this to be um, my career. And currently, um, uh, I used to work for a uh, environmental consulting firm as their in-house graphic artist. And um, when that job kind of dried up, I uh, had to sell my house and uh, move into my folks' basement. So. Um, my my creating uh, conditions are l probably less than ideal, but um, only because of like what I was used to. It's nice it's nice when you have your own space. So those are the goals. I want to get back out into having my own spaces. Um, 
ideally what I would love to have is a um, kind of a home and studio place I think would be the, like in terms of, this is like the dream the dream uh, uh, living quarters would be kind of a, a space above uh, retail like in a downtown area like a little like a small downtown area with uh, good internet but uh, I think then I could do stuff where um, either it's a gallery or um, like a little school like hey like because I, I'll be honest with you I love creating art and right now a lot of my stuff is digital just because of the space I have so um, I mean really if you think about how much space you need for digital art um, it's I don't know, probably a quarter or less so I do have some spaces where I can paint and like I said I want to have a painting like this I think with the painting I'll do more in the background but uh, yeah, I think I like how this is coming along all right I'm gonna click save control s uh, for save um, but uh, I'm gonna put my my Intuos pen down and I'm gonna go up here to what is it uh, I want the image yeah image rotation and because I don't really want to rotate it but what I want to do is I want to flip the canvas vertically so it's gonna it's gonna flip along the vertical axis and this will give me some idea I have a tendency to warp have things warp well I guess that was wrong <laughs> I want to I want to flip the canvas horizontally right and I'm trying to get an idea of uh, so I'm gonna undo and then so that's control Z to undo shift control Z to redo and I'm gonna kind of go back and forth I think my balance is pretty good actually it's balanced a little bit so I mean if anything let's go back into here and hit hit my eraser and just erase out this extra these extra extra lines that we don't care about right they're not going to be in the final anyway. I think that's why I wasn't worried about them. But let's go. I'm going to switch it back to my brush tool and uh, keep it on white. And let's just kind of erase out some of these extra extraneous lines here. Make it less confusing for the viewer, which is you. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, um, feel free to ask them below. I'm, I'm pretty good about. Uh, about replying to the stuff and uh, even better I had to I had to um, I had to upgrade my cell phone and I upgraded to the pixel 6a and uh, from a, a LG V20 and um, I gotta say I'm really enjoying the, the pixel 6a the um, one of the nice things is it seems like and I think it's oops, um, I think it's because um, you know Google it's a pix it's a Google phone so they're really a lot better at uh, letting me know um, because Google is YouTube um, they're much better at letting me know when somebody uh, makes a comment or replies or anything like that so uh, that's getting easier and I'd like to, uh, you know, I, I want, basically, I think my one of my goals as an artist is uh, I have so much fun. I'd love you guys to have, have fun creating art, too. And uh, and I think the, the easier, let's see if I erase that. I think it's got to be there. Um, I think we've got to have some kind of a lump over here. Let's see. that's a nice like let's look I'm looking here to see on this left edge and I want I think I want this so let's do something where it's some spikes and have it come through some kind of texture here but uh, I got distracted um, so I'd like to I'd like to uh, inspire you to create art and just have fun and really you know to to not necessarily worry about um, are people gonna like this or not at least in the, in the initial stages right I think part of uh, creating art can really um, help you relax it can help you um, kind of focus uh, for me I think a lot of times where if you if I'm working and you see all of a sudden that like I 
I stop up and uh, you can almost hear it like I have I stop talking and I and I really focus in where I, my breathing changes you know take deep breaths but um, breathing changes and then because what's happening is um, it's get you get into what's what I believe is called the flow state so if you ever if you ever think oh you know, I, I create art, but you know, I don't. I'd like, or I'd like to relax by meditating. Um, art is a great way to do that because it kind of for, it forces you to really focus, to look down, to get into the nitty gritty. You know, basically your breathing's going to change, and it doesn't have to be, you know, a super, um, you know, masterpiece can be just you know you're sketching in your sketchbook and uh, having fun okay so I think so one of the things I do sometimes too is um, uh, I take all of these things that have created my sketch I'll, uh, so like right now if you look on to the left here I've got the sketch uh, layer highlighted I'm gonna hold down my shift key so that all of these layers are selected and then control G will make them into a new group Okay, and then I double click on this and I call it my reference. Okay. Um, actually, let's see. So I have I put some text in earlier, but I'm gonna delete that. Well, no, actually I'll keep it there. And now what I'll do is show you how to how I make text. So I'm going to say, click with the T, hit the T, just T for text. And then I'm gonna say keep, and then return, be in vain. <laughs> keep being vain right yeah keep being weird okay um, <clears throat> and then I'll delete this other one I had it there so I'd remember so with this now I can move it around I'm gonna use control T again so that I can rotate it and if we put it down near one of my my bonus green lines we can kind of get an idea of how how straight it is and um, let's control well right now let's decide if this is the font we want I am using uh, this one called Crypt Keep which I believe is a Blambot font uh, I really like uh, Blambot Blambot's fonts a lot so it's Blambot.com B-L-A-M B-O-T dot com and I believe the um, the artist there his name is uh, Nate uh, Picos, but it might be Picos. It's I think it's spelled Picos, but um, I've never heard it pronounced. So, um, but I love his stuff. So if you need crazy cool fonts, he's got some really good um, uh, licensing agreements. Um, but uh, the price you pay for them, I think I think they're like about forty dollars for your own, for a super license to, to be able to use anywhere. But if you're a if you're a um, uh, if you are a, a small creator and you're just doing something like you're making your own, like you're making a comic book and stuff, he has things that you can use um, for free, I guess, until you're until you're, you know basically get to a point where you can pay for. Them. So I've got these things. So this is Crypt Keep, right? So Crypt Keep Heavy was what I had it on. Crypt Keep Skinny is kind of interesting. So let's keep it. Let's do the, the thin one real quick. And um, so the space in between the in between the lines is the leading. And uh, in Photoshop, if you go over here to the right where my uh, character uh, character palette is, there's a character window, I guess. Uh, you can click and drag, and you can see if I go to drag it to the left, it makes things kind of get closer together, so that it seems like it's more cohesive of a unit. I'm going to use Control T again because I'm not sure what size font I need. So rather than worry about it, so I'm doing Control uh, Shift and Alt, but now I want it to come down. Let's see. So we can pull, pull it out. I think I like that. Okay, so I like how that looks. And I think I'm going to keep it, but let's so that we can play around with the fonts. I'm going to do uh, make a copy of this. So I'm going to click on my uh, type layer over here on the left, 
and I'm going to drag it down to this little plus sign, make a new one. So, and I'm going to hide the old layer. But now, um, I think I can just change it from here. Maybe, let me see. Yeah. So you can see some of the crazier, you know, fonts. They'll keep being weird. Imaginary Friends kind of a neat one because it has that kind of like hand-drawn feel to it, right? And that's what a lot of the Blambot fonts have is they have that like, okay, well, this is going to be something that's hand-lettered in a comic book. I'm going to click on my stars because I kind of have a lot of this stuff starred. So um, let's see. So that that's, <laughs> that's buried before bugs. That's kind of interesting. So, but I think it's a little bit too illegible for what we want. Because part of this is getting the message right. So some of these you can see like they just don't, you know, I mean, they could work. There's a quick keep. Death rattle. Destroy earth. I kind of like that, but I think it's a little too fat. Rough, destroy earth, rough. Flesh, feast of flesh. It's kind of cool. Fun Dead. I kind of like Fun Dead. So I'm going to, I kind of like it. And it fits pretty well. It's very similar in terms of its, um, the width and everything that's going on here. So maybe I'll keep that. And let's do another, let's copy it, copy the layer again. And uh, let's keep playing. So I've got Fun Dead. Let's scroll on to Fun Dead with Gamma Rays. i got to change the, side, the shape of the sign. Here's that imaginary friend. So imaginary friend's kind of interesting. Let's let's play around with. So it's got the italic. So it makes it you know that's kind of cool. The bold. It's too bold. So let's go regular. I I like imaginary friend, but I think it's too much of an, a left angle. Like angle is a little bit different. So. Let's just see what else we got here. Johnny, Johnny, lunch pail. Not all of, I should say, not all of these fonts are Blambot fonts, but um, I think the ones I tend to lean into are, are Blambots. The ones I like the most. Knuckle Sandwich, that's a uh, Blambot. Oops. Okay, hopefully that's good. Let's just click save. I think that's because I probably highlighted over a font that it didn't like. It didn't want to change to. So Knuckle Knuckle Classics. You know, see that's what happened. So let's say okay. So I think it's Lint McCree is 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 not giving me a thing. Let's go down to oh, okay. Yeah, see what that's what's happening. Okay. So um, let's fix it. Let's see. Let's go to uh, window and uh, let's see where, where we go. Uh, we want um, more Adobe fonts. But I think what's happened is, oh, so I have to sign in. So, uh, I start remembering. Did I, did I, did I type it in correctly? Yes. So, um, let's search for Lint McCree. Lint McCree. And fonts active. Fonts active. So, let's see. Let's close out of this. And let's see if it will let me do it. Otherwise, what I'm going to have to do is go past that Lint McCree. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, good. So, let's see. There we go. Okay, good. See, so that's what happened. So, um, thankfully, it didn't crash the whole the whole program. But for whatever reason, the font didn't load. And that's if you look in this this, this font window. Some of these are Adobe Creative fonts. Like that's what these little that little symbol is. So Open Type or True Type. And I'm not 100% on what the difference is between Open Type and True Type. I think it has to do with uh, what parts of the family and what it'll, what it will let you do in terms of like cheating it a little bit, like making all caps or, you know, uh, first caps, that kind of stuff. All right, let's see. I don't know if any of these other ones are going to work. Zombified. No. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't not work. It's just that the, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The little 
Oh, it's not an accent. Yep. I don't, use the, I don't use descriptive words to describe what parts of text are. A little uh, thing after the be in. Be in. I forget what that thing is. And hopefully you'll tell me. So some of these are kind of cool. But I think um, we'll just unclick the... Uh, let's go with the crazy one. So... Oh, Billy the Front Flying Robot's kind of neat. But it's not narrow enough for what I want. So, what I could do is let's highlight this and let's change the width a little bit. But because of that, Well, on a positive note, this is only like my third option, right? So I kind of like it because of the, you know, the um, handcrafted look. But let's go with one of these other ones and um, decide which is better. I think this one. I think I like this because it fills it out more. Okay, so let's go with this, which is the uh, Fun Dead. And then I th what I want to do is to widen these three, these, these two lines so that they kind of fill out that space a little bit more. trying to do get it so that it looks I think what's happening right now is because of this uh, what the heck is that called? It's, I'm changing my uh, <clears throat> changing the, the kerning the space in between the letters and um, k-e-r-n-i-n-g kerning um, which I think will help a little bit with like how things are like tightening it up and getting it so that it, it seems like more in line, right? Because I'm kind of looking, I'm kind of going back and uh, with, without my glasses, things start to get a little blurry. But um, so yeah, I think they're lined up. I think this is good. So let's let's keep all this together. I'm going to put this down above the reference line um, because I'm not sure if it's going to be part of the inking or if, like if I, I might draw over the letters so that I get a little bit more, um, uh, just use them as the reference, or, you know, or I could use the letters. So maybe let's just drop it into reference for me. Um, so once I, when I, at this point, this is the, this is the drawing. So this is kind of it, right? And uh, so this is kind of where I'm gonna, where I would leave it. So uh, tomorrow, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, ink it and how to keep going, so that it's you know so that we don't drag on for here's how how, how you take uh, two hours out of your day and uh, make things uh, ready for uh, production. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully, you had some fun, uh, you know, and you can get out there and have some fun creating some cool stuff. If you can give somebody a reason to smile, you just might get to smile too. Uh, if you made it this far, please be sure to give me a like, uh, share this with your friends, comment, ask questions, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you all. Bye.